Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Butch Gamboa. Now here is a menu on some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with a review of the best-seller sedan from Toyota, the Corolla Altis, including a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the Peugeot 208 GTI and Mazda 2 as they go head-to-head. -head. We'll also have the latest developments in the local auto industry and a special feature on the first leg of the 2017 BMW Roadshow at Powerplant Mall, Rockwell, Makati. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. Hi there, I am STV Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the Marketing Director of BMW Philippines, Mr. Carl Magsusi. If you're considering giving yourself a reward after a year of hard work, why not give yourself a brand new car? So come and visit us at the Autofocus Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival at the Mall of Asia from November 16 to 19. And BMW will be there to showcase to you the latest models that we have such as the 5 Series and the all-new 2 Series Grand Tourer 7-seater MPV. Don't forget, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas! Focus multi-brand pre-Christmas test drive festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Toyota. The stereotype that used to label the Corolla Altis is a sedan for mature drivers and family use only has been changed over time by Toyota itself. As the newest model came out and braved the roads with its new advancements and a bolder design, the Corolla Altis 2017 has proven that it is so much more. The new Altis comes in the same reliable four-cylinder inline six-in valve DOHC and runs on a 1.6-liter engine dual VVTi that delivers 122 PS of power at 6,000 RPM and 154 Nm of torque at 5,200 RPM. What's fresh with this new model with regard to its engine is that it is now Euro 4 compliant, keeping the new Altis at par with global emission standards. It still maintains excellent acceleration performance from low to high speeds with its 7-speed CVT or Continuously Variable Transmission Technology. 
for the suspension, the new Altis uses an independent McPherson strut at the front and a torsion beam axle at the rear, which lean towards comfort despite having those 17-inch alloy wheels. The brakes use disc at the rear and vented disc at the front. Outside, the new Altis displays a more advanced look and dynamic sporty design compared to the previous model. Its bolder appearance boasts its stability while commanding a strong presence on the road. Its new front bumper features a larger central air dam and neat new cutouts for the fog lamps. Moreover, the grille and overall rear design express a smoother finish in all angles. Adding a bolder design to the new Altis is the new look of the headlamps, plus the daytime running lights, which shows the vehicles also add to the fresh offerings. Inside the new Altis, besides the folding rear seats for the passengers, the driver's comfort is also ensured as it has an electric adjustable driver's seat and tilt or telescopic steering wheel. Meanwhile, the leather upholstery also gives emphasis to the bold look. The new infotainment system and a redesigned automatic climate control system also make the new Altis more interesting. To keep up with the new technologies, the new Altis has a smartphone mirror link which is now a big plus point in cars in its segment. The new Altis also has various active and passive safety features such as cruise control, vehicle stability control, anti-lock brakes, parking sensors, and seven airbags to ensure the security of the driver and its passengers. The improvements that have been done with the Corolla Altis inside and out surely makes one forget about what the model locked before the Corolla Altis 2017 came to the market and broke the stereotype. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. TV Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the Managing Director of Ford Philippines, Mr. Bert Lassard. I would like to invite you to check out our pre-Christmas multi-brand test drive festival, a one-stop shop to all car enthusiasts to see and test drive the latest vehicle on November 16 to November 19 at the SM Mall of Asia. Experience our Ford Everest. Ford Ranger and Ford EcoSport at this event with their best capacity and feature. Please, I would like to see you there. Come to the AutoFocus Multi-Brand Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Happiness. Happiness times seven. 
The all-new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient for a smooth journey. And sleek design for you. The all-new Honda Mobilio. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Hi there, I'm SDV Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the General Manager for Automobile of Suzuki, Philippines, Mr. Shuzo Hoshikura. It's gift-giving time of the year once again. If you are planning on giving your family or yourself gift of a lifetime, make sure to test drive it before you buy it. Come to the Autofocus Pre Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival at Mall of Asia from November 16 to 19. Suzuki Philippines will have Celerio, Swift, Jimny, Seat, El Tiga, and a surprise new model for you. Please watch out for this. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas. Come to the Autofocus multi-brand pre-Christmas test drive festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Welcome back to Autofocus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. The 45th Tokyo Motor Show was recently held at the Tokyo Big Site. The event was participated in by a total of 153 automobile and auto parts manufacturers from all over the world to show off key technologies. Sunshine Television's media contingent was hosted by Mitsubishi Motors Philippines and Honda Cars Philippines in the prestigious biennial event. During the event, Honda Motor Company Limited exhibited many electric models such as the Honda Sports EV concept which was also world premiered in a motor show and global models such as the all new Honda CRV. Everyone, welcome to Honda booth in Tokyo Motor Show. We are here displaying automobile, motorcycle, and even power generator. As such, we are now expanding a Honda brand in Philippines. Globally, we are developing a lot of electric vehicles like electric vehicle, hybrid vehicle, even plug-in hybrid, and a fuel cell vehicle. We are also developing the diesel engine. As such, we are offer a lot of models to the Philippine market. Thank you very much to support Honda. Always, always, we will dedicate our customers in the market. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, Mitsubishi Motors presented the all-new Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross, which will be launched in Japan before the end of the fiscal year. According to Mitsubishi, the Eclipse Cross is the first step of Mitsubishi in their roadmap of growth. Mitsubishi also presented its new brand message, Drive Your Ambition which also signifies the company's 100th anniversary. We had a very long experience to develop and to manufacture cars. So we have 100 years history. During this 100 years, we challenged so many things to develop new technology or a new car. So now we have uh, many uh, strong technology in our company. So in the future, we use such our strong technology and also we can use the technology and many items from Alliance. So Renault Nissan also have uh, many good technology. So we can use both technology, our technology, Renault Nissan technology. So in the future, our chance become bigger. So compared to standalone case, so I believe our future is very bright. 
What we have here is an SUV model. Can you, would you like to? Uh, actually, this, this is the Eclipse Cross. No? It's a crossover. Of course, I think many are familiar with the Eclipse brand name. Previously, it was just a sports uh, car. But now the Mitsubishi did, it's now a crossover. Considering the strength of Mitsubishi is really on the SUV. All the uh, SUV, new SUV technologies are actually here in the Eclipse Cross. And they have launched this already in Europe, uh, even other markets like, uh, I believe, the US, Australia. And uh, right now in Japan, they will soon launch this model probably by the end of the fiscal year. Yeah. Mitsubishi Mirage and the Mitsubishi Mirage G4. This is the model. These models are proudly built in the Philippines for Filipino people. You country has over 100 million people should provide the vehicle built by the Filipino for Filipino. That is our target, my challenge. So welcome to our showroom. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, UM Motorcycles Philippines recently opened its first showroom located at Ortigas Avenue, North Green Hills, San Juan City. The event was attended by select members of the motoring media. Aside from the inauguration, UM Motorcycles Philippines also launched its full model lineup. We were very, very proud and happy to launch the, the first UM showroom in the Philippines, um, which is in Green Hills. Uh, we're excited to show the public, especially to the media first, about our product, UM, and hopefully that we can promote the brand and make it a very successful brand in the Philippines. UM stands for United Motors. Uh, it's an American company. Uh, it's a family company, which is the Villegas family, and who loves motorcycles. So some of the family members is the one that did all the designs. That's why it's so beautiful. Uh, some members are into the production side. So it's a close-knit family that established this brand. It's all over the world. It's probably not yet popular here in Asia, but it's popular in South America, in other parts of Asia like India and other countries in Europe as well. So we're very happy because the one thing we noticed about this company is they're so into the quality of the bikes, not only in terms of the performance, but also in the looks of the bikes. I would like to invite everyone to please take a look at this new brand called United Motors or UM. It's in the heart of Metro Manila, which is the center of Metro Manila, which is in Green Hills along Ortigas Avenue, corner Madison. Please do drop by. We have a lot of bikes for you to test drive as well. And I'm sure when you come over, you'd love uh, the looks and of course the price. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Hi there, everyone. I am STV Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the Senior Manager for Communication of Nissan Philippines, Mr. Dax Avenido. Christmas is fast approaching and many of you are probably thinking of buying a car for your family or for yourself. If you are, remember, it's best to test drive it before you buy it. This year's Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival at the Mall of Asia is on November 16 to 19. Nissan will have the following models available for you to test drive. The Nissan Juke, the Nissan Navara, the Nissan Urban, the Nissan Almera, and our latest addition, the new Nissan X-Trail featuring the Nissan Intelligent Mobility. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas to all of you. Focus multi-brand pre-Christmas test drive festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough Beat the Derek. to be right back. Isuzu D Max, tough enough for anything. The power of Strata.
your sport truck. Hi there, I am SGV Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the president of Isuzu Philippines Corporation, Mr. Hajime Koso. Christmas is fast approaching and many of you are probably thinking of buying a car for your family or yourself. If you are, it's best to test drive it before you buy it. This year's Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival at the Mall of Asia is on November 16 to 19. Isuzu Philippine Corporation will have the following model available for you to test drive. Our new Blue Power Euro 4 direct injected VGS turbo diesel engines for new Isuzu D-MAX Blue Power 4x4 and 4x2 automatic variants and new Isuzu MUX Blue Power 4x2 automatic. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas! multi-brand pre-Christmas test drive festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. We'll have more news about the auto industry still up ahead, but in the meantime, Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. Hatchback vehicles have a strong appeal to some car enthusiasts, maybe because of its masculine design and fun-to-drive experience. In this week's Head to Head, we will get to see two best-seller hatchbacks, the Peugeot 208 GTI and the Mazda 2. Our head-to-head -head starts off with what's under the hood, the engine. The Mazda 2 is powered with the 1.5-liter Skyactiv G engine that produces 108 horsepower and 139 Newton meters of torque, while the 208 GTI runs on a 1.6-liter engine with 200 horsepower and 275 Newton meters of torque. The two hatchbacks are similar in their transmission, in which they both run on a 6-speed, except the Mazda 2 uses automatic, while the 208 GTI uses manual. For the exterior design, the Mazda 2 gives a taunt and masculine feel with its well-defined lines and nice proportions. Additionally, with its long hood and highly stylized front end, it is easily defined as eye-catching. On the other hand, as you take a look at the 208 GTI, you'll notice the extended wheel arches, side skirts, prominent rear spoiler, the detailed front grille, and the raft of GTI badges giving the car a premium sporty feel. When it comes to the interior look, as you climb inside the Mazda 2, you will be greeted by the leather and nicely metalized trim, which makes operating the car feels better. The inside is packed with additional treats such as the heads-up display, steering wheel controls, automatic climate control, and of course the MZD Connect infotainment system. Meanwhile, settling inside the 208 GTI, you can rely on the red and black sport seats holding you firmly in place. The old black cabin has the right amount of chrome to keep things interesting. There is also a DAB radio dual zone climate control, plus automatic headlights and wipers. For safety and security, both the two hatchbacks have standard features. 
The only difference is that the 208 GTI has two Isofix child seat mounts in the rear seats. But all in all, both cars ensure nothing less. No wonder why car enthusiasts are rooting both for the Peugeot 208 GTI and the Mazda 2. The former exudes top-of-the-line design while the latter takes pride of its power and sporty feel. It's now up to you to choose which car meets your hatchback requirement. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your automobile electronic magazine, we have the 2017 Dodge Challenger SRT. Watch this. When the new 840 horsepower Dodge Challenger SRT Demon raced down the drag strip to open the New York Auto Show in April, Dodge unleashed the ultimate street to strip car. Today, the brand is following up on its performance car mantra, introducing the new 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat Widebody, answering enthusiasts who have been clamoring for a factory production Hellcat with even more grip. With a starting U.S. manufacturer's suggested retail price of $71,495, U.S. the new Challenger SRT Hellcat Widebody model features the same fender flares first shown on the SRT Demon. These wider fender flares add 3.5 inches to the SRT Hellcat's overall width, covering the new 20 by 11 inch Devil's Rim split 5 spoke aluminum wheels, which ride on new wider 305 35ZR20 Pirelli P0 tires with a new tread pattern. A new electric power steering system with SRT drive modes adds new selectable steering tuning for the first time on a Hellcat model. In addition to its wider, more menacing stance, this new Challenger SRT Hellcat widebody delivers improved lap times, lateral grip, acceleration, and braking compared with the already ferocious performance numbers of the Hellcat. Road course lap time on a 1.7 mile track lowered by approximately 2 seconds per lap, approximately 13 car lengths after one lap. The 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat Widebody is powered by the 6.2-liter supercharged HEMI V8 with 707 horsepower and 650 pound-foot torque and can be paired to either the Treme 6-speed manual or Torque Flight 8-speed automatic transmission. The proven Hellcat HEMI engine features additional cooling measures including a low-temperature circuit with two air coolant heat exchangers integrated into the supercharging housing. This setup is designed to keep air temperatures below 140 degrees Fahrenheit under extreme ambient conditions while enabling airflow of up to 30,000 liters per minute. So effective is this feature that engine power will not be derated due to cooling demands after 20 minutes of hard driving on a road course at an ambient temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll have more news about the automobile and its industry after we pause for another short break. I'll be right back. Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the President and General Manager of Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated, Mr. Noriyuki Takakura. Planning to supply the entire family this Christmas season. Supply them with a brand new car. 
Come to the Old Focus Free Christmas Match Brand Test Flight Festival at the Mall of Asia from November 16 to 19. Honda Cars Field Pink will be having the new city, new mobilio, new jazz, VRV, Civic, and the all new CRV 7 seater diesel turbo available for you to test drive and experience during this event. Remember, Test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas. Come to the Autofocus Multi-Brand Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival on November 16th to 19th. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient for a smooth journey. And sleek design for you. The all new Honda Mobilio. window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. SDV Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the Vice President of Filipinas Taj Auto Group Inc., Mr. Art Balmadrid. Thinking of buying a car this Christmas? Make sure to test drive it before you buy it. The pre-Christmas multi-brand test drive festival, a one-stop shop for all brand new car models available in the country is happening on November 16 to 19 at the Mall of Asia where Filipino Studs, the exclusive distributor of Tata Motors vehicles, shall have the latest car models and commercial vehicles that will be made available for test drive. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas everyone! Focus multi-brand pre-Christmas test drive festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Welcome back to Auto Focus, the show for the automobile enthusiast, and back to more auto industry developments. Isuzu Philippines Corporation, or IPC, recently formally introduced its latest light commercial model lineup to Metro Cebu market on October 20 and 22, 2017. Held at the North Wing Atrium of SM City Cebu, IPC displayed its latest lineup of Isuzu D-Max pickup and its best-selling Isuzu MUX SUV for a three-day launch and mall display event. Both the Isuzu D-MAX and MUX now carry the new 4JJ1 TCX Euro 4 engine that can deliver up to 177 PS of power and has a maximum torque of 380 Nm. Engineered with the Blue Power technology, 
IPC stated that this engine is set to provide maximum engine output, cleaner emission, superior fuel economy, while maintaining Isuzu's renowned engine durability. According to IPC's president, Hajime Koso, Cebu has always been a special market for the products, particularly for the light commercial segment. He added that with the new blue power engines, they are confident that they will maintain, if not surpass, their current market share in this region. Meanwhile, Isuzu Philippines continues to further expand their dealership network by opening the latest dealership at the summer capital of the Philippines, Baguio City. The 640 square meter showroom is equipped with state-of-the-art new and complete service facilities. Aside from the best-selling MUX and DMAX, the new dealership will also display its formidable truck lineup. The official opening of the new dealership was attended by IPC head honchos such as its executive vice president, Shohiro Sakoda, and Yashohiko Oyama, vice president for sales, together with members of the local motoring media. To all the televiewers, we would like to invite all of you Please come and visit any of Isuzu dealership nationwide and know more about the, our latest lineup of Isuzu D-Max and MUX with the new Blue Power Euro 4 engines. Thank you very much. And finally, Caltex Havlin, marketed by Chevron Philippines Incorporated, recently launched its newest range of Caltex Havoline synthetic and mineral motorcycle engine oils during the Ride Strong event held at Valkyrie at the Palace together with Caltex Ambassador Solon Youssef. We launched the Ride Strong campaign. Uh, it's a new campaign for us to reach out to the bikers uh, community, community here in the Philippines. But we're also kind of doing it at the same time as the launch of our new line of Haveline motorcycle oil products. We have upgraded our entire range of motorcycle oils with new technology and new claims. And we've introduced uh, the core technology, we've introduced ZoomTech, and we've done a major upgrade on our scooter oils. Core technology uh, really represents the four key benefits that we think riders uh, care about. Uh, one is on clean and protect, and we have demonstrated that our corn technology could deliver superior uh, cleaning and protection properties. And the next two is on oxidation and heat reduction, and that comes from how durable the oil is, and core technology is able to deliver that through very superior antioxidants as well as premium base stock that we use in the oil. And lastly, core technology promises to enhance uh, acceleration, and that's really the type of responsiveness and power that the motorcycle riders are looking for. It's exciting times for us. This is a fast-growing community here in the Philippines and it's also very special. It's a very close-knit, very strong, very uh, energetic community. So uh, please do try our products. Uh, we have certainly up our game in terms of assuring best quality possible uh, in our heavily uh, range of motorcycle oil. So thank you. It is very important as a person and as, as a human being to feel in control of what you're doing and empowered as well. And then we have Aline, you're sure that your engine's going to be taken well care of. I'm sure a lot of the men here have named their bikes after a girl. Everyone, their bikes are like their babies for them, so it's really important to take care of your bike, just like how you take care your, of your wife and of your kids as well. So know what you're giving your engine, and with Havilene, you're sure to get the best quality because Caltex has always served their customers with only the best, so you can't go wrong. We have a lot more about the automobile coming up. In the meantime, here's our what and where to have them for our car enthusiasts on Automart. Here now is Automart with products and services geared toward the automobile enthusiasts. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions, the WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across Wide Plains, for Motul's opening year promo of greatly reduced prices. 
and out, car aficionados do not patronize just any custom shop for upgrades. Speedlab has been in the business of setting up and sprucing cars for so long that it has become an institution in the local motoring scene. Custom-built headers, racing filters, Unichip programming and installation, dyno testing are just some of their specialties, which also include preventive maintenance solutions, overhauls, fleet maintenance, and even fuel economy testing. For your next car upgrade, check out Speedlab located at number 11, Pagataan Street, Banaue, Quezon City. Those who have similar notable products and services that appeal to auto enthusiasts, you can have them showcased on the Autofocus Automark. For placement, just call STV at 633-4422. Automark, products and services for the automobile enthusiasts. Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the Vice President for Marketing Services of Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation, Mr. Froy Dichankin. Christmas is fast approaching and many of you are probably thinking of buying a new car for your family or for yourself. If you are, it's best to test drive it before you buy it. This year's Autofocus pre-Christmas multi-brand test drive at the Mall of Asia is on November 16 to 19. Mitsubishi Motors Philippines will have the following models available for you to test drive. We have the Montero Sport, Strada Pickup, the Mirage, and Mirage G4. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. The best of the holidays to all of you. Come to the Autofocus Multi-Brand Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. When you sweat to be sweet and you clean our seat, it's love. it's love. When you try to look cool but you look like a fool, it's love. It's love. It's love. Love. Show your love with the new features of the all-new Innova. Love the journey. window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road or off-key? Do you use your great power? With great control, with a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. TV Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the marketing manager of Subaru Philippines, Mr. John Ezekiel Asuncion. Are you looking for something special to give this holiday season? Why not buy a brand new car? Come to the Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival at the Mall of Asia from November 16 to 19. Subaru will be offering multiple test drive units for your enjoyment at this festival. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas! Autofocus Multi-Brand Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it.
Welcome back to Autofocus, the electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. And up next is this edition's special feature. BMW Philippines again treated their loyal customers and car enthusiasts with their recently held BMW Roadshow 2017. Check out the highlights during the first leg of the event. BMW Philippines recently held the first leg of the four-weekend BMW Roadshow 2017 at the North Court of the Power Plant Mall in Makati. According to BMW, the BMW Roadshow 2017 not only features a display of the brand's latest models, but it also highlights activities for families to enjoy. Test drive opportunities are also open for the motoring public and automotive enthusiasts. The BMW Roadshow 2017 is a series of events where we are highlighting the latest models of BMW and also the different activities that we have to offer not only for the car buyers but also for their family, for their wife and their children and also this is where we get the best deals for a new BMW. Now, what is special about this roadshow is this is where we are actually introducing for the first time in the Philippine market the 2 Series Grand Tourer. The 2 Series Grand Tourer is the first 7-seater MPV of BMW and I believe this is also the first model of its kind in the premium segment. And we are happy to announce that people can check out the 2 Series Grand Tourer in the roadshow. Other than the 2 Series Grand Tourer, people will also get to see the all-new 5 Series, the business athlete that which we recently launched and which has proven to be a big success not only in the Philippines but globally for BMW. Now, in terms of activities, we have different lifestyle selections that uh, people can check out as well. And we have something for kids where they can color their favorite BMW models. Uh, we also have a remote control race car uh, track where kids can enjoy playing with uh, remote control BMWs. Finally, again, as I've mentioned, in the roadshow is where you can get the best deals in terms of purchasing a brand new BMW. And of course, you will also get the schedule a test drive for any of our latest BMW models. That was indeed a treat for all BMW lovers out there. And don't miss out the following legs of BMW Roadshow 2017, one of which will happen during the Autofocus Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival on November 16 to 19 at the Moa Grounds. We come now to the final page of our electronic magazine as we again put on the spotlight concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. This time we train the spotlight on the 2018 BMW X3. Let's take a look. The new third-generation BMW X3 combines rugged, off-road looks with a greater sporting presence. It builds further on its reputation as one of the most dynamically competent and technologically advanced SUVs in its class, whilst retaining its premium image. The new model also brings in a new 2.0-liter petrol engine alongside the familiar diesel offering, plus a new performance flagship, the M40i, the first-ever M-Performance vehicle in the X3 lineup, emphasizing the class-leading dynamic appeal of the model. A whole range of driver assistance systems also ensures it is one of the most advanced as well as safest cars in its class with multi-platform connectivity that reaches new levels. The three trim variants each has an individual appearance. 
The SE model features LED headlights and taillights as standard, along with aluminum satinated roof rails and a new 18-inch wheel. The X-Line model gets a satin aluminum radiator grille, more rugged front and rear bumpers with silver metallic side sills along with 19-inch X-Line specific wheels. The cutting-edge BMW twin-power turbo technology at the heart of the petrol engine comprises twin-scroll turbocharging, high-precision injection, double vanus variable camshaft control, and Valvetronic fully variable valve timing. The diesel units, meanwhile, have a turbocharger with variable turbine geometry, as well as a common rail direct injection system generating injection pressures of up to 2,500 bar. Emission control is handled in both cases by BMW Blue Performance Technology, comprising a particulate filter, oxidation, and nitric oxide absorption catalysts, plus an SCR catalytic converter with AdBlue injection. The range-topping M40i is the first-ever M-Performance X3 model. It is powered by a new M-Performance 3.0-liter six-cylinder engine, which generates 360 horsepower, an increase of 54 horsepower, 18% over the most powerful patrol variant in the current range. Peak torque of 500 Newton meter is 100 Newton meter, or 25% greater. It can sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.8 seconds and hit a top speed of 155 miles per hour. And that's Auto Focus this week. We hope you found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook. Twitter and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Butch Gamboa.